quiz two, number four. Here we have a factoring problem, and we have a trinomial. First thing we're going to try is GCF. The trinomial factoring will be much easier if we take out a greatest common factor of negative one, and that way the front term will have a positive coefficient. So we take out minus, and we're left with six x squared, and that changes every sign. Plus x, minus seven. And now we can do trinomial factoring for what's left. And if we use that shortcut approach from one of the earlier videos, we're going to want either 6 times 1 or 3 times 2, multiplying against 7 times 1, in such a way that because they're going to be opposite signs on the 7, the numbers are going to cancel out to give a positive middle term. So we're going to look for a difference of positive 1. So let's look at the possible combinations. The 6 can hit the 7 to give us a 42. 1 hits the 1 to give us a 1. That's not a difference of plus 1. We could have the 6 hitting the 1 to give us a 6, and the 1 hits the 7 to give us a 7. That is a difference of 1. So this is what we want to go with, this setup here. So to write it down, we look at who's multiplying against whom. So the minus sign just sits on the outside because we factored it out before. I want to use the 6 times a 1 for the 6, so I have 6x and x. And then the 6 wants to multiply on the 1 so that those two give us a 6. So that means over here, right, and that's going to be the first middle term. And then the 7 and the 1 are going to hit. And that will be right here to give us the second middle term. And then to look at the signs, we want a positive 1, which means we want the larger of the two uh, multiplications, which would be 7x, to be positive, and the other one to be a negative. And just double-checking to make sure it's right, uh, multiply it out, we get 6x squared minus 6x plus 7x, and that's good because that gives us a positive x in the middle, take away 7. And then that minus sign multiplies through everywhere. So that would be the correct factoring. You can also do this one factoring by grouping if you don't like the trial and error method. And just let me know if you'd like to see a, a video doing it out factoring by grouping method.